IEEE 802.15 IEEE 802.15 is a working group of the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, IEEE, IEEE 802 Standards Committee which specifies Wireless Personal Area Network, WPAN, standards. There are 10 major areas of development, not all of which are active. The number of task groups in IEEE 802.15 varies based on the number of active projects. The current list of active projects can be found on the IEEE 802.15 website. Task Group 1 is based on Bluetooth technology. It defines physical layer, PHY, and media access control, MAC, specification for wireless connectivity with fixed, portable and moving devices within or entering personal operating space. Standards were issued in 2002 and 2005. Task Group 2 addresses the coexistence of wireless personal area networks, WPAN, with other wireless devices operating in unlicensed frequency bands such as wireless local area networks, WLAN. The IEEE 802.15.2-2003 standard was published in 2003 and Task Group 2 went into hibernation. IEEE 802.15.3-2003 is a MAC and PHY standard for high-rate, 11-55 to megabits per second, bands. The standard can be downloaded via the IEEE GET program, which is funded by IEEE 802 volunteers. IEEE 802.15.3a was an attempt to provide a higher-speed ultra-wideband PHY enhancement amendment to IEEE 802.15.3 for applications which involve imaging and multimedia. The members of the task group were not able to come to an agreement choosing between TWO technology proposals, multiband orthogonal frequency division multiplexing, MBOFDM, and direct sequence UWB, DSUWB, backed by two different industrial alliances and was withdrawn in January 2006. Documents related to the development of IEEE 802.15.3 are archived on the IEEE document server. IEEE 802.15.3b2005 amendment was released on May 5, 2006. It enhanced 802.15.3 to improve implementation and interoperability of the MAC. This amendment include many optimizations, corrected errors, clarified ambiguities, and added editorial clarifications while preserving backward compatibility. Among other changes, the amendment defined the following new features. IEEE 802.15.3C2009 was published on September 11, 2009. The task group TGEC developed a millimeter wave-based alternative physical layer, PHY, for the existing 802.15.3 Wireless Personal Area Network, WPAN, standard 802.15.3 to 2003. The IEEE 802.15.3 Task Group 3C, TGEC was formed in March 2005. This M wave pan is defined to operate in the 57 to 66 gigahertz range. Depending on the geographical region, anywhere from 2 to 9 gigahertz of bandwidth is available. For example, 57 to 64 gigahertz is available as unlicensed band defined by FCC 47 CFR 15.255 in North America. The millimeter wave pan allows very high data rate, short range, 10 meters for applications including high-speed internet access, streaming content download, video on demand, HDTV, home theater, etc., real-time streaming and wireless data bus for cable replacement. A total of three PHY modes were defined in the standard. IEEE 802.15.4-2003, low rate pan, deals with low data rate but very long battery life, months or even years, and very low complexity. The standard defines both the physical, layer 1, and data link, layer 2, layers of the OC model. The first edition of the 802.15.4 standard was released in May 2003. Several standardized and proprietary networks, or mesh, layer protocols run over 802.15.4 based networks, including IEEE 802.15.5, ZigBee, Thread, 6 Lopan, Wireless Heart, and ESA 100.11a. IEEE 802.15.4a, formerly called IEEE 802.15.4a 2007, is an amendment to IEEE 802.15.4 specifying additional physical layers, PHYs, to the original standard. The principal interest was in providing higher precision ranging and localization capability, 1 meter accuracy and better, 
higher aggregate throughput, adding scalability to data rates, longer range, and lower power consumption and cost. The selected baselines are two optional PHYs consisting of a UWB pulse radio, operating in unlicensed UWB spectrum, and a chirp spread spectrum, operating in unlicensed 2.4 GHz spectrum. The pulsed UWB radio is based on continuous pulsed UWB technology, CCUWB, and will be able to deliver communications and high precision ranging. IEEE 802.15.4B was approved in June 2006 and was published in September 2006 as IEEE 802.15.4 to 2006. The IEEE 802.15 Task Group 4B was chartered to create a project for specific enhancements and clarifications to the IEEE 802.15.4 to 2003 standard, such as resolving ambiguities, reducing unnecessary complexity, increasing flexibility and security key usage, considerations for newly available frequency allocations, and others. IEEE 802.15.4C was approved in 2008 and was published in January 2009. This defines a PHY amendment adds new RF spectrum specifications to address the Chinese regulatory changes which have opened the 314 to 316 MHz, 430 to 434 MHz, and 779 to 787 MHz bands for wireless PAN use within China. The IEEE 802.15 Task Group 4D was chartered to define an amendment to the 802.15.4 to 2006 standard. The amendment defines a new PHY and such change as though the MAC is are necessary to support a new frequency allocation, 950 MHz minus 956 MHz, in Japan while coexisting with passive tag systems in the band. The IEEE 802.15 Task Group 4E is chartered to define a MAC amendment to the existing standard 802.15.4 to 2006. The intent of this amendment is to enhance and add functionality to the 802.15.4 to 2006 MAC to A, better support the industrial markets and B, permit compatibility with modifications being proposed within the Chinese ban. Specific enhancements were made to add channel hopping and a variable time slot option compatible with ESA 100.11a. These changes were approved in 2011. The IEEE 802.15.4F Active Refit System Task Group is chartered to define new wireless physical, PHY, layers and enhancements to the 802.15.4 to 2006 standard MAC layer which are required to support new PHYs for active refit system bidirectional and location determination applications. IEEE 802.15.4 Gram Smart Utility Networks, SUN, task group is chartered to create a PHY amendment to 802.15.4 to provide a standard that facilitates very large-scale process control applications such as the utility smart grid network capable of supporting large, geographically diverse networks with minimal infrastructure, with potentially millions of fixed endpoints. In April 2012 they released the 802. 15.4 grams radio standard. The Telecommunications Industry Association TR51 Committee develops standards for similar applications. IEEE 802.15.5 provides the architectural framework enabling PAN devices to promote interoperable, stable, and scalable wireless mesh networking. This standard is composed of two parts low rate PAN mesh less and high rate PAN mesh networks. The low-rate mesh is built on IEEE 802.15.4 to 2006 MAC, while the high-rate mesh utilizes IEEE 802.15.3-3 B MAC. The common features of both meshes include network initialization, addressing, and multi-hop unicasting. In addition, the low-rate mesh supports multicasting, reliable broadcasting, portability support, trace route and energy saving function, and the high-rate mesh supports multi-hop time guaranteed service. In December 2011, the IEEE 802.15.6 task group approved a draft of a standard for body area network, BAN, technologies. The draft was approved on July 22, 2011 by letter ballot to start the sponsor ballot process. Task Group 6 was formed in November 2007 to focus on a low-power on short-range wireless standard to be optimized for devices and operation on, in, or around the human body but not limited to humans, to serve a variety of applications including medical, consumer electronics, and personal entertainment. As of December 2011, 
the IEEE 802.15.7 Visible Light Communication Task Group has completed Draft 5C of a PHY MAX standard for Visible Light Communication VLC. The inaugural meeting for Task Group 7 was held during January 2009, where it was chartered to write standards for free space optical communication using visible light. IEEE P802.15.8 received IEEE Standards Board approval on March 29, 2012 to form a task group to develop a standard for peer-aware communications, PAC optimized for peer-to-peer -peer and infrastructureless communications with fully distributed coordination operating in bands below 11 GHz. The proposed standard is targeting data rates greater than 100 kilobits per second with scalable data rates up to 10 megabits per second. Features of the proposed include the draft standard is under development, more information can be found on the IEEE 802.15 Task Group 8 webpage. IEEE P802.15.9 received IEEE Standards Board approval on December 7, 2011 to form a task group to develop a recommended practice for the transport of key management protocol, KMP, datagrams. The recommended practice will define a message framework based on information elements as a transport method for key management protocol. KMP, datagrams and guidelines for the use of some existing KMPs with IEEE Standard 802.15.4. The recommended practice will not create a new KMP. While IEEE Standard 802.15.4 has always supported datagram security, it has not provided a mechanism for establishing the keys used by this feature. Lack of key management support in IEEE Standard 802.15.4 can result in weak keys, which is a common avenue for attacking the security system. Adding KMP support is critical to a proper security framework. Some of the existing KMPs that it may address are IETF's PANA, HIP, ACAB2, IEEE Standard 802.1x, and four way handshake. The draft recommended practice is under development. More information can be found on the IEEE 802.15 webpage. IEEE P802.15.10 received IEEE Standards Board approval on August 23, 2013, to form a task group to develop a recommended practice for routing packets in dynamically changing 802.15.4 wireless networks. Changes on the order of a minute time frame with minimal impact to route handling. The goal is to extend the coverage area as the number of NADAs increase. The route-related capabilities that the recommended practice will provide include the following. The draft recommended practice is under development. More information can be found on the IEEE 802.15.10 webpage. The IEEE P802.15 Wireless Next Generation Standing Committee, SCWNG is chartered to facilitate and stimulate presentations and discussions on new wireless-related technologies that may be subject for new 802.15 standardization projects or to address the whole 802.15 workgroup with issues or concerns with technique or technologies. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.